Hi guys, welcome to the Larry Studios. We're going to be switching gear and focus a little bit on our Kotlin Android development. So let's create our first uh, Android app in Kotlin. We'll be creating a dice roller, a simple dice roller where we're going to actually create uh, a layout and uh, use uh, some of Kotlin uh, functionalities in a little bit. So let's get started. You're going to start in a project. Uh, up for empty activity, click on next and um, could give your application a name. Let's just give it uh, dice. So you could give it dice roller if you like and have uh, a particular project uh, folder I saved them into. Uh, you should uh, opt for the Kotlin language instead of Java. So you're going to click for Kotlin. So you're cool with that and you click on finish. All right, uh, so uh, I will implore you to upgrade uh, your Android Studio uh, to the latest version, which is I think 4.0 at point of recording. And uh, if you have uh, 3.6, 3.4 upward, uh, you're good to go as well. So you're going to have Kotlin uh, integrated into uh, the Android Studio out of the box. Uh, let's take a peep into the Gradle file. Uh, you're going to have uh, the plugin included, the Kotlin Android ex ex extension. And we are compiling for uh, 29 SDK, that's uh, Android 10. So you're good to go, you're cool with that. Uh, we'll be heading straight to the rest and we'll be doing some stuff in the rest and, uh, and in the drawable. Uh, so we're going to be starting off with a drawable where we have different dice uh, images. Uh, you could use uh, the XML, which is uh, uh, graphics, or you could use the PNG, which is uh, the picture file. So I have. Uh, first one, two, three, four, five, six uh, different kind of dice image. So I'm actually going to be copy each one of them. And I'll be importing, let me do a copy instead. Okay, copy six item. So I'll add straight to drawable and paste that in there. So that I'm going to actually have those images uh, right inside the drawable. At the same time, I need a background. I'm going to create a kind of background image. Also paste that in there. Cool. Moving directly to the layout file, the activity main, I'm going to actually create the uh, XML file. Now I'm going to go for the linear layout since I'm going to stack uh, layouts underneath each other in uh, a vertical form. So I'm going to actually go for linear layout. Uh, we're fine with that. So I'll match parent. The height should actually wrap content. And uh, we're going to have a layout gravity. Layout gravity of our center vertical. And we're going to have the orientation of vertical. That's fine. So I'm going to actually take, uh, take away this text view and replace that with uh, our image view and uh, the button as well. So let me take that away. I'm going to actually create, let me just take that away and uh, create a new tag called image view. And uh, the width of our image should be wrap content while the height should also be wrap content. And I will create an ID pointing at the image uh, let's call it uh, dice image, dice underscore image. Uh, we're going to have uh, the layout gravity, uh, center horizontal this time. So that's going to actually sit on the, in the middle. And uh, let's give it a source called app source compact. Compact, uh, uh, that's equals to. So uh, we're going to actually point to a drawable. Drawable. The first of the dies, which is dies one. All right, uh, cool. And close that up. Now we're going to have the button underneath. Quickly, a button tag. Uh, it's actually going to be wrap content to the width and height. Uh, wrap content. The ID is going to be row button. 
while the gravity layout gravity center horizontal and the text on this should be roll just roll so we'll close that out as well so instead of add coding let's try to create a string resource for this stressing okay cool so we have the setup uh, perfectly right i could just create a kind of margin bottom let's just say 30 dp so that we have some kind of space at the bottom we're good to go from here we're fine we'll be heading straight to the logic where we have uh, the kotlin class uh, that extends the app compact activity and set the content view to uh, the layout activity main so what we're going to do we'll first of all uh, try to create a kind of uh, late ink that's so that this is this can actually be a null we'll call that dies image which is actually pointing at an image view image view all right we're fine with that and right there in our uncreate method we're going to continue with our computation we're going to create a value for the row button which is actually pointing at the bot the button uh widget and let's try to import that uh, we're going to actually find the view by id find the view by id and uh, point at its id dot id dot roll button that's fine what else are we going to do we'll set the text to the row button dot text this is Kotlin, not set text we use in Java. You get string. And uh, we're going to actually point at our the string. Sorry for that. And uh, let's show. We don't have that. We're going to create it. Uh, okay, which could be created. Like, uh, could call it let's roll as well. All right, so after this, we're good to go. Uh, we created the text. We could set uh, a listener to row to row button this time. So set on click listener. So when we click the button, it should trigger something, uh, which uh, we're going to actually do in the TV. What's going to trigger? It's going to trigger a method called row dice. All right, I'll just leave it at row dice. So now we're going to create that. Create, uh, it's actually going to be a method over here. So what's going to be the content of this method? Uh, the row dice should be able to use uh, the when, and uh, we should be able to actually do some other uh, stuff there. So after here, we can actually set the dice image to dice image. Also finding the uh, getting its attributes. So now let's compute this private fun as I create this, not the void we used to row dice. So what's going to be the content of this uh, function? Now, start off with creating a value, uh, random int equals to create a random figure. Uh, it's a Java two. Random dot next int, which code should take six as the bound and we had one to that and also we create the drawable resource equals to when random it now is going to be the parameter for search or for iteration 
Now we're going to tell if we have one at this point in time, what kind of drawable should speed out? Drawable is going to be the first dice. Now the second, what kind of drawable should, should speed out? Nice two. The third, what kind of drawable should speed out? While the fourth, what kind of drawable should get speeded out? That is four. Now for the fifth, what kind of drawable should, should speed it out? Uh, say R not drawable. That's five. Now, if we don't have all this, we could have an else statement to, to actually terminate the call, and we only have one left, the sixth one. Okay, cool. Now, in here, we could now set the dice image to its resources. Image resources now, because we have it already in our drawable, now called the drawable resource. Cool. We find we're good to go. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let's complete this. All right. So that's just a basic uh, roll dice application. So when we click on the button, it's actually toggled based on the random number we have, and uh, it's going to select its appropriate uh, drawable from uh, the driver file as we well, uh, added that. So that's just the computation we have. When we do a kind of it's a kind of switch statement, so it's a when uh, statement uh, in Kotlin that replaces the switch statement as we all know. So I'm going to actually be running these uh, in my emulator and see how it works and it flows. I might have, I have it right sitting uh, there. So in a couple of uh, minutes, we should have that uh, set up in the emulator. Now before it actually uh, finishes, we could also do something like now I can actually add the background if you like, uh, since I have uh, the background drawable, the background, we we'll add that, so just have, uh, oh, it's kind of, uh, squatch that to the top, okay, okay, we'll get to look at that sometime later. Probably we're going to need to change the layout to a relative one so that the background takes uh, cognizance. Okay, let me do some before it actually built finish. Let me see. Oh, that's why. That's why we have it there because we have a wrap content. Okay, uh, we'll get to actually do that uh, later on. So it's actually going to, going to replace that with a relative layout or probably a constraint layout. So that's still going to centerize. The elements we have and we could actually apply a background uh, to that so let's get to look at uh, what we have uh, right there in our uh, emulator uh, okay all right so we have one which is the default now when we click on this we could have uh, that rolling to uh, six to one one two three Five and so on. So thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout all this video. We'll be doing a lot of uh, coupling computation. Uh, we're switching gear a little bit. Uh, we'll be interchanging between Kotlin and Java so that we're actually going to have a round overview of how to create modern Android application. Please don't go anywhere.